Good day. In this video, we're going to prove these two riders. We're going to use congruency of triangles, and it involves circles. In the first problem, they say O is the center of the circle. You can see it over there. PM is equal to MN. They tell me those two lines are equal. They say PMN is a straight line from there to there. And they say P and N are on the circle. Now we must prove that OM is perpendicular to PN. So we'll have to prove that that angle or that angle or both are equal to 90 degrees. Please remember when we answer riders, we must write a statement and give a reason why we're saying so. Here we will say in triangle OPM and triangle ONM, That'll be the green triangle and the red triangle. We will prove them congruent. We can write OP is equal to ON because they are radii. There is the center, that line and that line is equal because they are radii. Next we can write OM is equal to OM. It is common. Both the triangles are using the line OM. Some people just say OM common. Then we can say PM is equal to PM given. They told us that it was equal up here. Then we can write triangle OPM, the green one, is congruent to the triangle ONM, the red one. Now what is our case of congruency? Yes, we used side, side, side. Then we can write angle PMO is equal to angle NMO from congruency. So the angle over there and the angle over there is equal because of the congruency. Then we can write angle PMN is a straight line. It was given. So angle PMO is equal to angle NMO is equal to 90 degrees. Then we can write OM is perpendicular to PN. Or we can write it in words. OM is perpendicular to PN. Please stop the video and get your brain around this rider. So here is our second one. They say O is the center of the circle. There I can see it. OP is perpendicular to PQ. There I indicated it. OR is perpendicular to RQ. They indicated it down there. And then they said we have to prove that OQ by 6 PQR. So this OQ by 6 that angle. I helped here by telling you you must actually prove that Q1 is equal to angle Q2. In the exam they will write this. This confuses us. Remember bisect means break up into two equal parts. We just understand it's going to be Q1 must be proven equal to Q2. When we answer or prove a rider, we have to write statement and reason. In this case, we're going to work with triangle OPQ and triangle ORQ, the green one and the blue one. We start by saying in triangle OPQ and triangle ORQ. And we are going to try and prove them congruent. So OP is equal to OR. They are radii from there to there and from there to there. Next, we can write OQ is equal to OQ. It's common. Both triangles is using this line. Next we can say angle OPQ is equal to angle ORQ is equal to 90 degrees. It was given. Those two angles are each 90 degrees. So triangle OPQ is congruent to triangle ORQ. The reason is RHS. Right hand, hypotenuse side. There is the 90 degrees. The hypotenuse and the side. Then we can write angle Q1 is equal to angle Q2 because of congruency. The question asks us to prove that OQ by 6 PQ angle PQR. Then we write that OQ by 6 angle PQR. Please stop the video and get your brain around this rider. For the last congruency sum of this video, they say here yeah, O is the center of the circle. There it is. OB by 6th angle ABC. So this line by 6th this angle. Which then means this B1 is equal to this B2. Bisect mean break into two equal pieces. 
Then they ask, prove that AB is equal to BC. We must prove that that line is equal to that line. First, we're going to prepare our information to use in congruency later. So first we write, angle B1 is equal to angle B2, and we're somehow now going to call it X. Give it a variable. And that is given to us. It said that OB bisects that angle. So we write that B1 is equal to B2 is equal to X given. And I usually fill it in on the sketch. Then we can write angle B1 is equal to angle A is equal to X. Because of radii, I'm just mentioning it's in triangle AOB. So in that triangle, these two lines are radii. That makes them equal in length. That then makes that angle there also X. Angles opposite equal radii. Then we can write angle B2 is equal to angle C also equal to x because of radii again. So this B2 is equal to this C because of the two radii that we have over there. And then we write it in on the sketch. Please stop the video and just get your head around the truth of what I wrote here. Now we're going to start with our congruency. We say in triangle AOB and triangle COB, the green triangle and the red triangle, we will write angle B1 is equal to angle B2. It was given. We told it that OB bisects this angle. Then we write angle A is equal to angle C is equal to X. C above. We explained it here. Then we can say AO is equal to CO because they are radii. They are from the center to A and from the center to C. And radii in one circle are equal. Then we will say triangle AOB, the green one, is congruent to the triangle COB, the red one. Now, our reason is angle, angle, side, or angle, angle, side, all depends how you want to write it. Then we can just say AB is equal to BC from congruency, and that's what we had to prove. Please stop the video and get your brain around this rider. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.